Well, first thing we're going to do is, before we connect this Echo Dot to Hotspot, we're going to do this. Alexa, are you connected to the Internet? Yes, I am connected to the Internet. Okay. In order for us to connect it using a Hotspot, using a Hotspot on a phone, we need to actually put this Echo Dot in setup mode. In order to do that, we need to press this microphone and the minus sign. Okay? And this will reset this echo dot. So as you guys can see, I'm holding it there. And now it's going orange. Okay? And I release that. And it's already reset. Okay? Let's turn it back on. Turn it back on. And when it starts, it's going to have to tell us that it's in setup mode. But it's going to also be having an orange light that is going to be turning around the echo dot. So let's see. It's doing it. It's taking a little while to do it. But this is how you reset an echo dot when you want to change, uh, when you want to make changes or it's acting up. I mean, if you're having some kind of pro trouble with the software of your echo dot, you want to reset it. And it's real simple. It's real simple to do it. You guys notice how I did it. That's how you do it. That's how you reset an Echo Dot. Uh, my apologies for that. That's one of my devices, you know, getting <laughs> a message or something. But anyway, so it's restarting right now after I reset the Echo Dot. And as you guys noticed before, this was connected and it was working properly. Now it's going to have to tell me or show me that is and show you guys too, that it's in setup mode. Okay, that's setup mode. If you guys see that orange light that is turning around, that's setup mode, okay? Hello. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just okay. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. So now this Echo Dot is ready for setup. And we can just connect it to Wi-Fi if we want to, or we can actually connect it to a hotspot. So if we want to connect it to a hotspot, we go to our phone, okay? And we're supposed to have the uh, Amazon Alexa application already installed. So we go to settings, okay? And we go to settings here, all the way down. And the hardest way of doing it is when you try to use the same phone to do it, okay? So what you do here is you go to set up new device. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So though normally I don't recommend this way of doing it. There, there are easier ways of doing this, but anyway, in this case, we're going to do it the way that you're supposed to do this, okay? Using the application, that's what they recommend, but actually, I don't recommend that way because sometimes it fails, and you're wasting your time. But anyway, we're going to try to do it that way. So, okay, connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, so you're going to connect to Wi-Fi. Let's say, for example, you connect to Wi-Fi right now, and when it tells you to connect to Wi-Fi, you're actually connecting to the Wi-Fi of the Echo Dot. So we're going to go like that, and now when, it's, when you get to the screen, you're going to go to settings, and you're going to go to the Wi-Fi, and you're going to select the Amazon Wi-Fi, okay? So you go there, and it's going to tell you that it's going to connect. So it's already connected. You've connected to Echo Dot. Okay. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Now, this is a place where you actually are done connecting it there, but it's not finished yet. The process is still in the middle. So now we're gonna swap, we're gonna go back to the application. So it says that it's connected, okay? So we're gonna continue. Now it's gonna give you the options of Wi-Fi that you can use. Well, you're gonna go all the way down, okay? And you don't wanna use, you don't wanna use any of the Wi-Fi up there. You wanna go all the way down here where it says, use this device, as a Wi-Fi hotspot, and you want to select that one, okay? So from there, you're gonna go to you're gonna go to your settings, okay? And you're gonna turn on you're gonna turn on your uh, your hotspot. In my case, it's real simple. I just go here and turn it on. Some people they might have to go here into their settings, okay? And go to uh, network and internet, okay? And then they might have to go here where their hotspot is and turn it on. In my case, it's already on. But anyway, if I wanted to turn it off, it's off. 
or I can just turn it back on again and it's on. But I have a shortcut there where I can just turn it on up there. But anyway, that was just to show you guys. So after your hotspot is on, then you go here and then you go and continue. You keep going start, okay? In this case, it's gonna ask you for the network name and your password. In this case, it's my own. I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I'm just gonna do it right now. Um, and this is gonna be the hotspot on my phone. I'm just not gonna show you guys the password, okay? Okay, so anyway, that is that is my uh, my hotspot name, okay? And that's supposed to be my password there that is not showing. So I just press connect. And if it goes all the way to the end, then it's done. That means it connected. But a lot of times this will take forever. And sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't, okay? And that's where, where you don't wanna do it this way because sometimes you just have a hard time doing it with a single device. If you have another device that is not working, it has no service, or if you have services, even better. What you're gonna do is, you turn on the hotspot of this device, as long as you have the application installed in the other device, you can use the other device to connect this Echo Dot to that one there. But as you guys can see, this is taking forever, not doing it, and it's just not working, okay? Sometimes it will work, but it's just wasting time and getting on you all aggravated because it's not working. But anyway, this is one of the ways of doing it. And you guys can see it's just taking forever. It says here, this might take a minute. Oh, excuse me, this might take a few minutes. Well, it's been more than a few minutes already. And it might, you might keep waiting more than a few minutes again. And at the end, it might fail. And you might get all aggravated. But anyway, this is one of the ways of connecting it. Um, because this video is getting kind of long, I'm probably gonna have to make another video to show you guys how to use two devices to connect it. I made a video before, but this time I'm making actually three videos. That way you guys can see how it's actually done each one, each way that I mentioned before. But as you can see, this one is not working. It's just taking forever. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't recommend this way. This is the recommended way by Amazon of doing it, okay? Uh, this is how they recommend to do it. I don't recommend this way. I think it's a waste of time and people get all upset and aggravated because they're not able to connect. But like I said, the other way is a lot easier. The first way that I mentioned to you guys, connecting it, connecting it to your Wi-Fi and renaming your hotspot the same as your home Wi-Fi. So your hotspot, you just rename it the same way with the same password and it'll connect. So as you guys can see, this failed. Okay, this totally failed, it didn't work. So I need to redo it again. So you know something, I'm just gonna stop the video and we're gonna go to another video that is gonna show you guys how to do it. I don't wanna make this video too long, but if you guys want me to, I'll make it long, but it's already eight minutes. So we're gonna stop it, we're gonna stop, we're gonna start another video. And it's, it's, so it's gonna be the second part of this video to show you guys how to connect it using two devices. Thank you, see you.